<laughs> We're showing you another easy recipe here today. We're making Mississippi pot roast. It's so easy that this video is probably only going to be like four or five minutes long, but I promise you it'll be worth it. Daily. <laughs> now when you talk about pot roast, for me, pot roasts have always just been kind of mediocre. I've never really been in love with having pot roasts. They're really easy to make and that's the allure to them, but sometimes the taste leaves me wanting more. Until I discovered this pot roast. This recipe is crazy simple. It's four ingredients plus the salt and pepper that you use to season the meat before you sear it. Pile it all into a crock pot, come back home, throw it over some mashed potatoes or noodles, and get after it. Traditionally, Mississippi pot roast is made with a chuck roast. Today we're going to be using the sirloin tip or the football roast off of a dough I shot last year because it's a wild game cooking channel, so that's what we're going to use. I do not know why it's called a Mississippi pot roast. All I know is that it's easy and it's delicious. The ease to taste ratio on this thing is through the roof. So the beautiful thing about a roast is you throw it in the crock pot and then you can do whatever you want. I'm going to get this bad boy in the crock pot here, show you how to do it, and then I'm going squirrel hunting. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take the meat out of the package and clean it up a little bit. You can see this bad boy's got a little bit of cleaning up to do. It's got some silver skin on there we're going to want to try to take off. Going to have that on both sides. Now with this piece of meat, you can see there's sections to it. And you could definitely probably stake this out, maybe even fry it up. But when I've done that in the past, there's just a lot of connective tissue in there, so it doesn't do well with just cutting it up and frying it up. Um, even grilling it, it'll just be a little bit chewy. So cue the time lapse and we're gonna clean this thing off. All right, now that we got this thing pretty well cleaned off, all you need to do is salt and pepper all around the entirety of the meat before we pan sear it. So now what we're gonna do is heat up some oil on the pan. We're gonna pan sear every single side of this meat. Now it's called a football roast. So it's not a flat piece of meat that's gonna be easy to pan sear, so I suggest using some of these bad boys. It's gonna help you turn that meat as you're trying to sear all sides of it. Don't wear your Sunday's vest when you're pan searing meat or the shirt that your wife got you for your birthday. As I said before, not every recipe online actually has you pan searing this meat, whether you're using venison or beef. But oh man, it's smelling good. Now that was actually the hardest part, is browning the meat. You don't actually have to do that. I've not tried it without pan searing it, but a lot of the recipes online don't call for it. But that's the hardest part. The rest of it is just piling it all into a crock pot and waiting, later on shredding it, and then depending upon what you're gonna put it over, but right now, the hard part's done. This thing literally calls for four easy ingredients. You got a stick of butter, a packet of ranch dressing seasoning, a packet of ajou seasoning, and pepperoncini peppers. Now, I literally had to look up online how to pronounce this. I always called it pepperoncinis, but it's pepperoncini or as they were saying on all the Italian videos I was watching, pepperoncini, 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 pepperoncini. So getting everything into the crock pot first thing, just getting in the meat. I usually like to put it this side up because I'm gonna lay that stick of butter right in there and let everything just melt right over the top of it as it cooks. Going in with a packet of a jus. Trying to keep it all on top of the meat.
packet of ranch seasoning. Pepperoncinis. Same thing goes with the pepperoncinis. You don't have to use the entire jar. I am gonna use about half of the jar of liquid. Some of this is just dependent on your taste, how spicy you want it. Take a butter. Nestle this right in there. So when it melts, it's gonna melt right over the top of that meat. That is literally it. That's all you have to do. Pan sear it, throw in a crock pot, and wait. Now you've got time all day to do whatever you want. Go ice fishing, go squirrel hunting, go kill another deer. But now all you gotta do is throw the crock pot on low, Wait approximately eight hours until the meat gets tender enough to fold apart with a fork. Don't forget to plug it in. been about five hours, we just got done squirrel hunting, and now it's time to check the roast. My wife is probably gonna kill me for that. Worth it. Get to you in a second, buddy. So we're gonna let this cook for another four hours, then we're going to shred it up and serve it over mashed potatoes. So the roast is looking fantastic. It's smelling delicious. Now it's time to peel up some potatoes and make some mashed potatoes for us to put the roast over the top. Now this is a wild game cooking show. It is not a starch cooking show. So nobody wants to watch me peel potatoes. So here you go. All right, our roast is complete. Now all we need to do is shred it up. So the first thing we're gonna do is pop out these peppers. Can keep them in. There's gonna be plenty of heat just with this thing cooking with the peppers the entire day. Better yet, save them. You can use them tomorrow. You can use the roast for leftover enchiladas or even Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. All right, so all we're gonna do is get in here with the fork and just start tearing this thing apart and keep shredding it up. All right, now that our roast is shredded, it essentially has the consistency of what you put on like a shredded roast beef sandwich. Now it's time to plate it up, because I've got two special guests, well three special guests, but two of them are very critical. I call them my food critics. So we're gonna put this on a plate, see what they think about it. What you think? Yeah. You think another one, please? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what do you think? Good. Okay, chew that up. Maybe spit a little bit out. The verdict is in. Do you like it? Yes. Good. 
then I can give you a cookie after for saying that. Yay! <laughs> if you make this for somebody and they think it's gamey, punch them in the face and don't become their friend because they don't know what you're talking about. So that's it. That's the video. <laughs> Say bye. Bye bye. Say bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Good eating. You're probably shouldn't punch him in the face. <laughs>